Hi everyone, Frankie from easypowerwall.com. A kind of a special episode this time. I often get a remark that my setup is out of the league of some people. And I often get the question, do you have an easy DIY plug and play solution? Because most people really want to live a more sustainable way, but they have just a bit lack of knowledge or they're just too scared to make the electrical connections. Well, today this solution exists. This is the answer to all your questions. I hope I sparked your interest. Let's dive into the video. Let's start unboxing the item. As you can see, we're talking about the grid tie microinverter. Grid tie means you have to connect the inverter before it can actually work. So if you don't have a 230 or 120 grid, this item will not work. Let's unbox and see what's inside the box. We have a one pager. Of course, it will be available in the download section. I already noticed immediately the Smart Life app. So there will be a Wi-Fi connection where you can monitor the performance of your device. A warranty card. I also see an MC4 spanner. The MC4 connectors are already connected to the device. So you probably don't need it, but I think they delivered it with the case. If you want to undo the connection with the MC4 connector, then you need the MC4 spanner. As you can see, it's a very thick and solid, strong cable. It looks like a premium hardware, it's well made. There's a button here and we have two pairs of MC4 connectors. So you can easily connect two solar panels. This grid tie uh, microinverter is the 700 watt model. I will connect two 350 watt panels to it. This will easily handle the two uh, solar panels. A connector to put into socket and some screws to attach the inverter to your setup. Well, that's it. Let's get... I mentioned earlier in the video that the inverter comes with a high quality premium cable. And there's a good reason for that. You can put these inverters in series. You can daisy chain them. You can put two, three or four in series. To do that, you have to put this connector into the next inverter. There's a port on the side of the inverter here where you put the next inverter. Of course, for this purpose, we won't do that. We will use only one inverter. This means I have to cut the cable here and attach it to mains. For test purposes, I will add a energy meter and see if the values reported by this device correspond with the values reported by the energy meter. I will first start with removing the connector with the old and trusty cable cutter. Normally you can throw this away, we will no longer need this. Now I will make a connection with the energy meter and then the output of the meter goes to the grid. I have to remove this connector as well. This is just a regular PC, old PC power supply lead. Before we install the inverter, I will add the Wi-Fi antenna. This might be a challenge, the Wi-Fi connection. I'm about 30 meters away from the router, so let's see how it performs. If you have experience with inverters, you can skip to the next chapter. Maximum output 700 watts. There is also a 600 and 800 watt model. Rated output current, that's the current at AC side. MPPT, maximum power point tracking, when voltage is between 25 and 55 volts. 
There are two separate MPPT trackers, maximum 13 amp each. Solar Power STC, where STC stands for Standard Test Condition. Maximum power for each solar panel is 350 watts. Operating DC voltage between 20 and 60 volts. Both frequency and voltage are altis sensing. Peak efficiency 96.5%. MPPT efficiency 99%. Waterproof IP67 means it can be underwater for maximum 30 minutes. Protective class 1 means all conductive metal is grounded and working temperature between minus 40 and plus 60 degrees. Am I breaking the law here? I don't think so. These kits were sold in several DIY shops, but in Belgium it's still a grey zone. That's a bit strange because several other countries embraced the new technology or even give incentives to install these balcony solar solutions. So why is it still in a grey zone here in Belgium? There are two reasons. The company that exploits the grid says that their employees can be electrocuted when they work on the grid. But of course that's not true. These micro grid tie inverters only work when there's 220 volt connected to the micro inverter. Another point is insurance. I really don't see why this can be a, a critical point to not install this kind of solutions. I think it comes down to one point. They can track it and if they can track it they can tax it. So that's another good reason to install the solution to protect your well-earned money. I will connect the first set of cables to the inverter. The company delivers a few screws, nuts and balls. This should be fine just to connect the inverter with the panel. And just attach the screw. Now let's add the uh, second panel to the second pair of MC4 connectors. Now both cables are connected and we can lower the second panel. That's the next step, connect the inverter to the grid. Connected the 230 volt AC in the mains, but it didn't work. I don't think the unit is uh, dead on arrival. Maybe it's linked to the energy meter. So as a next step, I will remove the energy meter and connect the inverter directly to mains. Well, let's connect the second panel again and see if it works better. Assistant manager. Oh, it took a while, but maybe you can't see it. Yeah, the blue flashing light. So the the energy meter was blocking the signal was blocking the 220 volt but now it seems to work 
next step is installing the application to see how much power we generate I didn't have to do anything this just pops up wow Wow, this is unbelievable. It's like plug and play. I didn't have to do anything, just had to enter the Wi Fi code, and it's working already. What a great piece of hardware! Now we have shade on both panels. Now I'm curious what the revenue will be tomorrow. But so far, I'm very pleased with how easy it was to set up. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Yes, seems the factory tested the unit properly. It has already 600 watt hours on the counter. This is the typical value I got around noon in full sun with two 300 watt panels connected. Not too bad. The next day I noticed the app didn't report any revenue, but the inverter was still generating power. I thought it was due to poor Wi Fi. But after the move, I noticed the Wi-Fi antenna was a bit loose. However, I recommend signal level better than minus 90 dBm. I moved it closer to the Wi-Fi and of course all issues were gone. Covered one of the solar panels to check if the unit has two independent MPPT trackers. The test confirmed this. Let's do a quick test here. As you can see, the balcony solar producing 350 watts, close to 350. The grid tie system, close to 1500. Now I will switch off the grid tie system. It's in Dutch, but it means voltage too low. Switched off. Now let's see what our meter does here. Even with the grid tie system disconnected, the meter is still turning backwards very, very slowly. This means my idle usage is a bit less than 350 watt. With idle usage, I mean refrigerator, cameras, router, modem, TV, computer, and so on. This proves the system is working very well. Let's go back one more time to the application Smart Life. Yes, I changed the name of the inverter to Easy Powerwall. That's great if you have to track several inverters. I want to show that it doesn't only show the current produced energy, but also show the energy produced in the past. And you can keep track of the revenue. A Wi-Fi signal level meter would be a great bonus, but not available right now. You can check the energy generated on intraday, daily and monthly basis. If you hit the vertical line, it shows the actual value. Let's talk about the return on investment. These days you can pick up used solar panels nearly for free. But I make the assumption of 100 euro for both panels. The inverter costs another 130 euros, which brings our total to 230 euro. Revenue depends on the tilt and your location but is around 600 kilowatt hours a year. With the electricity price of 30 cents per kilowatt hour we generate about 180 euros. So after 15 months you are already start making profit. Time for conclusions. This item works very very well. It's almost plug and play, zero touch configuration, just connect two solar panels and the item is up and running. Is this the solution for the world's energy problem? It's not, but it can be part of the solution. In Germany we have 500 
balcony solar systems installed. The Netherlands are catching up very fast, so there's no reason not to install this item. I really recommend this item. All information linked to the hardware is under the video. And if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and see you soon for more videos. This is Frankie for EasyPowerWall.com.